Hello and welcome to another Beyond All Reason video. Today we're going to be looking at the scenario King of the Hill. This is quite a difficult scenario where you need to kill seven enemy commanders whilst you're on your own and everyone else is against you. Uh, this is quite a long scenario so what we're going to be doing is splitting this up into two parts with the next part coming out in a couple of days time. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to see that and uh, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so here we are, we're on top of the middle, we queued up the metal points and we're going straight into building a factory. Now we're doing that because we already have an advanced solar at the top of this mountain here, so we don't need to get energy straight away. We will need to eventually, but we can at least get the factory up and running and probably a couple of engineers out before we need to worry about it. Um, now you'll notice that there is air defenses and some things that look like uh, walls. Um, those wall things are actually uh, dragon's moors, the uh, flamethrower um, wall pieces. Um, so for at least for a little while against like some basic land units, we will be fine for now. Um, as soon as they start coming at us with proper stuff though, we are going to be in trouble. So what I'm doing here is I'm just queuing up my commander to finish what he's doing and then he's going to walk over here, get that metal point and he's going to build a wall. So the plan here is kind of abusing the AI's pathfinding a little bit. We are going to block off two of the sides so that way we only have to deal with enemies coming to one side it is gonna mean we're gonna have seven enemies worth of units coming at one side but it does mean we only have to focus our defenses and our unit reinforcement on one side um, we'll see how well that works this is how I've played this mission in the past and that's how I finished this mission in the past so hopefully it should be fine now, the other thing we're trying to do here is we're going to try and get a early commander kill because the quicker we can get rid of one of these seven uh, enemy commanders, the better. Ideally, if we can reclaim the wreckage, then that would be even better. But we'll have to see. It's going to be quite difficult to try and hold that. Um... So now I'm building a perimeter camera up on that hill. Uh, not necessary, but the reason why I'm doing it is uh, purely for the fact that the radar can't see down that hill very easily um, because obviously it's round a round corner. So by building the perimeter camera, it's given us a bit of that vision down the hill that we wouldn't get otherwise. As you can see there, you can see down the bottom of the hill, it's kind of like a hashed line there. Um, that indicates that you don't have radar coverage in that area. So it's important to get. Now we're just basically duplicating the same thing with our third engineer here. Second engineer is working on energy. Third engineer blocking off the other side whilst the first engineer and fourth engineer are assisting the factory. Now, this is kind of a bit of dead time where we're not really able to do too much. If this was a normal map, you know, you'd be walking your commander forward, constantly expanding and stuff like that, but this is not a normal map for being against seven people. Ideally, we want to expand to these other mexes that we've got on our high ground as quick as possible. We need to secure our high ground as quick as possible, which is why we're building those walls to stop units coming in, which is already working on the right hand side where the commander is. So yeah, so far so good. Um, we're going to use one of these engineers here because we were not doing too well on energy there. Um, we're going to move that engineer off and he's going to start building the metal points. We're going to move our commander up rather than through the middle. He'll build the metal points to the north and then move across to the front line. With him being on the front line, we can use him to build, you know, some defenses quite quickly. 
emergency D guns if necessary. We've we've got that option with the commander there. Meanwhile, the other lines should just be held off by the walls once they've built. Although the south side doesn't have any walls as such yet, so we will see. Okay, so we've got 14 light tanks here. I'm hoping that should be enough. If we run into an enemy commander, we should be able to kill him. Question is, where is said enemy commander? And we run up against some vehicles that are not what we want to run up against. But we're okay. Um, keeping an eye on that flank there. Those warriors are not what we want to have come up against us straight away. To get some defensive units up we're going to use the commander here to build the dragon's uh camera dragon's camera perimeter eye or whatever it's called beholder perimeter camera there you go dragon's eye would be a cool name for it though and uh yeah just continuing to work on our economy here um Realistically, at this point, we should maybe be considering a construction turret. Get enough metal here, but I didn't do it uh, in this playthrough at this point. So that's bad on my point here. Um, he's just finishing off that thing. He's taking his time. Still a hole behind that. Also that... Dragon Wall's at 50%, so I'm going to repair that. Try and get that camera done. Meanwhile, our tanks that we just forgot about are just getting killed, but I miss a bombing run, which reminds me, oh yeah, there's planes. And I just fight command those units. And we're going to switch now from those units, because they've already got warriors, which is just going to, like kill us basically with those tanks so we're going to switch to levelers instead levelers got a bit of oomph now i'm surprised those tanks actually managed to get through on the north there um the camera's not paying attention because i'm dealing with the eco side of things but they actually got pretty far in and then they got degunned by the commander and they all died so if I was actually paying attention to them, I might have been able to micro those then and get a commander kill, but I didn't, and it's a missed opportunity. So here we go, that's the first leveler out, and we are just kind of waiting now. Building up our defenses, trying to stay alive whilst trying to amass a decent amount of tanks. Oh, it's our assault tanks, not levelers. Now, there's quite a lot of metal there being at the front there. So we're going to build a construction turret on that front line to try and get the reclaim. Um, we have an annoying plane flying over our base which makes me realize that we uh, need to get some more air defense and this flame turret can't shoot at that wreck. Well, at least the res bot that's resing it. And this is where we run into a bit of an issue here. So, what would have been a better idea is building the defensive line at the bottom of the hill because then they can't hide at the bottom of the hill where our defenses can't shoot them and they shoot up at us. Um, so maybe for your playthrough, if you can push down to the bottom of your hill and build your defensive line there, you would be better off. Now, right now we are overflowing energy, no energy, metal, uh, which is not good. So rather than building more wind, which isn't going to do us anything because we don't have any energy, um, we are going to build a couple of solars in the base. This will uh, help us deal with the issue for now. 
Now our command has moved over to this line here just to get some repairs up while our engineers are busy doing other things. And we also can't shoot that rocket bot. Now this is exactly why you need to have the defensive line at the bottom, not at the top, because we cannot do anything about that rocket bot. And they can occasionally get rockets through the walls and like that one there and shoot the laser tower and we can't do anything quite annoying so we're gonna move our commander over now to the other side and try and help that front line add a couple of more dragons to that side now these tanks are quite uh, strong um, so what I'm hoping is I can do a bit of damage with those. Also queuing up more eco here again with that engineer. We really need energy right now. We are really struggling for energy. Um, so we're going to try and do something about that. And here we go with these tanks. Now, that was a bit of a bad move there because the tank shot the Twilight. Twilights are the stealthed uh, metal extractors for Armada. And what happens is when they blow up, they EMP everything around them. Uh, so I went from having 10 tanks to three tanks, um, which obviously did not bode well um so there we go so the commander's shored up that front line a bit with an extra wall segment um and a, another llt but i still do not have the power to actually fire said llts so that is still an issue there we go that guy is clear now i know how much air is going to be coming so i'm building more air defense than you would expect to need but still now those perimeter cameras there have given me a vision that there's some units down the hill that i couldn't see before so we are going to send some units to deal with that meanwhile as you can see there our tanks are pushing into this enemy's base and uh, we're going to see how much damage we can get done to dark blue with these units just, just holding these guys up a little bit Let's see if I can get some stuff with those other tanks moving down. Try and do some economy damage. They have an LLT there. I'm trying to stay out of the range. Get some of this stuff. Now that level that I've got is really slow. Um, which is not ideal for long distance travel that we're doing right now. And at this point, we've got quite a few engineers. We really should move some off and get them to do something else. So what we're doing now is we're going to get those engineers on that side. We're going to get more air defense on the other side after I've built some more wind. There we go. These tanks stopped and been pound being pounded by artillery, but we'll get the factory. And now we're going to move into this range, get the LLT. And although we still don't know where Blue's commander is, we've basically completely killed his base. So now if we could get that reclaim, that would be great. But it's a bit far forward for us to get that. And here we see a bunch of artillery positions of what's been pounding us. And there, they're both dead. And the stuff engineer dead. So at this point, that's dark blue. Uh, basically dead, but we don't know where his commander is. So he's still alive somewhere. Um, but now with the eco that we've got, we're pushing out a lot of units. And we just need to keep it up. But they also do have a lot of units themselves. So at this point... With the amount of energy I've got, I make the decision here to transition into Tech 2. Now, I could have 
maybe kept pushing out um, tech one units here and a attempt to overwhelm them. But I thought if we uh, if we get tech two here, we might be able to just push it out pretty quickly. Now that comm there manages to degun two of our tanks whilst we've still got that leveler that's EMP'd. And now we've only three left, it ain't gonna do anything. Those tanks to the north, I kind of wasted them. They just got zapped and then died. But in that time, our Tech 2 has come up and running, which is good. So we're building some basic tanks uh, from Tech 2, um, an engineer to upgrade the metal makers and such, uh, sorry, the metal uh, extractors. And we are going to um, get some stuff going. Now they've also gone tech two already. So that timing on us transitioning to tech two was good. Um, maybe a little bit behind, um, but could have been worse. And we're gonna get this tech two economy up as quick as we can. Get our guys here to assist two to assist the engineer, two to assist the factory. Now we've got this one blooming zap bot just going around zapping all the stuff in our blooming backline area, which is really annoying. So we're gonna build some defenses to stop that hopefully happening in the future. Okay, so we've got some tech two heading to that front line, which is good. We made a bit of a dent on one of the enemies and they haven't really done anything to us. Now that's that bot still causing us blooming problems. Hiding behind the metal spot where we can't do anything. And unfortunately I need the units on the front line. I can't just send stuff away. But it's now dead, so that's fine. Okay, so now we're actually using all of our resources. Now you've got to remember that Tech 2 Metal Extractors um, use a lot more energy um, and we were only just okay on energy to begin with so we definitely need that fusion up as soon as we can there's also quite a lot of reclaim there on the front line i would like to get but keeping my tanks alive as i've got a bit of a slow transition here is more important also a very very annoying spider there climbing over my walls so I realized that they're gonna climb over other places and I'm gonna need more defenses in those outlying bits there to stop them. Okay, now I've realized my commander's not really doing anything. Need more energy. Got excess metal at the moment, so build some sodas. Let's try and get a bit of this reclaim. See there's a leveler there that's pretty hurt kind of try and keep them in range of that construction turret to get repairs whilst I get more reclaim on the go okay so at this point again we're just massing troops holding out for a bit while we try and get our economy up and running and here we see the enemies first bomber coming into our base now this is not good um we managed to shoot them both down but it is a sign of things to come it's only a matter of time before they send too much that our air defenses can't deal with perfect so now with that fusion up and running uh we are good on energy for now um now that engineer is a bit far forward so we're going to pull him back a bit we also amassed a fairly decent amount of tech 2 tanks here so we're going to try and clear up some of this long range stuff give us a bit of breathing room on this front and uh get rid of the long range stuff that we can't see now realistically we need a radar at the bottom of this hill um so that we can actually see what's shooting us from range. However, it's a bit difficult to do when, well, when we don't have anything down there to begin with. So we've got a tech to engineer up now. 
which is great. So we're going to try and use these Tech 2 tanks here to hold off whilst the Tech 2 engineer builds a uh, pop-up defensive turret. And then that will give us a good starting ground for um, defending the bottom and starting to spread out a bit. Now, unfortunately, we have no air defense, so these engineers are just reclaiming our tanks, which is very annoying, but little we can do about it right now. And uh, yeah, you can still see they're all still coming for us, even though we're at tech two. Now, that's lucky for now, but won't happen for long. The recluse, however, at the bottom is still annoying us and climbing over our walls. So we're sending the tech one units we have to deal with that. We lost a metal, an air defense. They're gonna shoot the engineer. We proved the, those down there to block that. And once that pop-up goes up, we're going to be in a pretty good position from that side. Pop-ups are pretty strong, um, especially against like Tech 1 units, especially, which they do still have a lot of. Um, they will basically kill those in one or two shots. And whilst it's down, um, it is more heavily defended as well. So we're going to build these uh, pop-ups here again on the sides. Those Tech 1 tanks were a bit late to the party. And so we're going to leave some there for now. It's got a new Tech 2 engineer up. Send them over there. Get some uh, defenses up so we can build those metal extractors and not have that issue again. We hope. Okay. Now with that up, we're going to try and push around to the top side there and build a doomsday and that will cover us for a while. Now you see we can't see where these shots are coming from, we just see the missiles and that's it. So it's not ideal, but we're going to grab this tech one engineer here now and see build a uh, radar. Now, I have just noticed these guys are getting very close to that engineer, but the pop-up turret actually gets them, which is good. And that bomber there at the north got a metal extractor. So we're now currently at this point down four metal extractors, um, which is not good. And you're starting to see that in the metal income we've got here. It's not great right now. We've also got quite a lot of idle engineers, which is also not great. You can see of a lot of them there by the um, windmills. There's at least four there doing nothing. Um, not good at all. So that's uh, some bad management on my part. It's trying to micro the units when I should be paying attention to um, my engineers that are literally doing nothing. It's better to have them assisting the factory. Like I could be producing more tanks right now I understand that the engineer on the front line um, not necessarily doing anything because you know you were busy getting him to build a radar then you have to map micro units but yeah it could be better so there we go now I'm getting these guys to actually do stuff I'm noticing they're still starting to get close to this wall on this south side so I want to get that sorted gonna area mix that and that get these guys to assist now what that should mean is that the top mexes and the bottom mexes should be sorted and it will just be the left side that need doing but two of them are already done at least so i think we're good i'm going to try and start getting up a tech 2 economy at this point because we really need to start snowballing here um, the longer it takes for us to get to that point, the more issues we're going to have. They're starting to bring out Tech 2 as well. Um, it's not like we have Resbots. We had Resbots. Um, could be a different story. We could res all these tanks. Easier to get the reclaim. In theory, we could build a Tech 1 factory with that purpose in mind. But right now, I just need to get units on the field and to hold the line. 
Um, I can't keep these units healed up quick enough with all the units that are coming in. Um, now, if you were more aggressive and just took what you had and went in for comms and just tried to snipe all the enemy commanders, um, you might actually have an easier time than this. So for this mission, um, I try to play a bit more defensively. Um, I saw a lot of people commented on how um, uh, the, the way that I was playing was quite aggressive. Um, so with that in mind, I try to show you a situation where, you know, you could be more defensive. And this is a more defensive mission, so it kind of fits quite well. Um, but obviously the more defensive you are, it also means the uh, more issues you have with enemy units. The more terrain you give enemies, the harder it's going to be. So in terms of unit comp, um, just to make you aware that I have currently added in not just the basic tanks, added a radar, a radar jammer to the mix. Um, we've also added a flak. For the air and then there is also the banisher um, which is this heavy missile truck and they, they do a lot of damage um, so having some of them is very very useful now with these radar dram jammers it should help us against some of these issues I wasn't there expecting there to be so many defenses there, so I have pulled back. Also, that tank there got through, and that is not good because he is right into my eco, so I'm sending all of the Tech 1 tanks I have to go and kill it and just do as much as they can. This tank does a lot of splash damage, so spreading out the units there to try and avoid as much damage as possible. Using this construction turret to repair getting back to the defensive line here to try and hold out using these uh, defenses here to just try and do what they can to hold there's a lot of stuff coming to us right now um, trying to decide where best I need these units now another recluse there getting to our economy really annoying not much really we can do about it we're going to build this pop up now somewhere it's like where do you build it you can just climb the edge look it's doing it again now it's like what, what can you do against it unless you control the ground to the south of it it's, it's a bit tough they just outrange everything unless you build a doomsday there and then it's just that seems a bit of a waste ideally I want to close that hole these guys for some reason aren't actually assisting that at all and at this point taking a bit of a risk here okay i'm just holding on they've got a lot of tech too um they're starting to push through on flanks that i'm not really able to hold too well so i have decided to transition to tech free now like i said this is a bit risky um and i'm just hoping that it's going to pay off here but that gap on the right which is causing us issues we've had to reroute um reinforcements to that right hand side because there's that missile truck that just keeps firing missiles at us now, tech two tanks today just go straight through these tech one walls so it's good for us to get out, but it also means we've just opened a hole for enemies to get in. Um, this banisher can shoot over hills, so that's fine. Um, our resources are currently okay um, to keep producing whilst actually um, building that factory here, which is good. There we go, and that banisher takes out that long-range truck. He was going for that radar bot, which he succeeds in doing. But this banisher can't shoot over that hill, which is uh, annoying. And and then goes for the flak. So I realise at this point, trying to defend 
or rebuild that wall is a lost cause. So we need those new juggernauts put in here, some more construction turrets. We do not have probably anywhere near enough energy for this. We are building an advanced fusion. It's just going to take a little while to get there. And we are going to try and get that up and running. Now, this bottom side is not ideal. We have no defensive structures there. We just have units. We don't have that many units there either. We're still down the metal extractors on that side. And we keep getting air attacking us. I'm going to try and reclaim here to get as much stuff as we can. We're going to send that engineers over there. And try and get a defensive line set up on that side. We can't build it the same as the other one because we've already kind of lost the hill. So we're going to try and build a bit further back. Really, really need that in, that energy up and running. going to lose some silly engineers here that decide to walk in front of the tanks rather than behind the tanks. Now, there's a rapid fire artillery over there that's causing us some issues and another recluse just shooting us from range. Really annoying. Um, this front line over here is working. It is holding. We are losing some stuff, but we are trying to build a shield which will deflect all of the artillery that's coming at us. And there's the shield going up. Now with that shield going up, that's all that plasma stuff. No longer an issue. The only thing we have to worry about is missiles. But we do have a construction turret as well, which should help. Um, trying to force out this uh, advanced fusion Whilst, whilst trying to hold the line. This is getting a bit tough. Um, once we get those tech freeze up, it should enable us to do a better job at holding the side. But we are a long way from that being built with energy being our shortfall right now. Still missile trucks coming into us here, causing us problems. Using the boundaries of our shields here to deflect any incoming plasma whilst poking at some of the stuff at the edge. Seems to have lost our construction turret again. Tanks currently have no re uh, uh, repair, so building another one. You don't have to use construction turrets, you could use something else, but... Uh, yeah, it's just, just easier right now. Now, this rapid fire artillery is really causing us problems here, so we're just going to push in, kite that gunslinger a bit. There's a missile there as well. We really need to get that artillery down. We've got more artillery down there as well. We get a tattoo engineer for it as well. There it is, it's getting resurrected. The thing is, we're not going to be able to get that wreck. It's going to probably just end up getting resurrected and brought back to a, a life, but it's all we can do for now. We don't have the forces there. We really need that tech free up and running, and we need these doomsday defenses up and running to cover that side. Meanwhile, the bottom, still okay, other than the crawly guys causing us some issues. Um, now we've got the advanced fusion up so that's good we're going to build some um, construction turrets there to assist the build power on that and we are now going to assist all of those construction turrets on the tech 3 and we are stopping production of tech 2 now this is a bit of a risky play here because now we have no new units coming out at all and that doomsday did definitely not get built so we're going to move the commander down there. If we need to degun, we're going to degun. I'm going to try and build a pop up as our first thing. Now, those two tanks we've got left are almost dead. So, trying to get a repair on them as quick as possible. These guys are just doing nothing. Here we go. Get some construction turrets up. Trying to find out which one here actually has the queue. 
because we need some air defense so we don't just lose all of our tech free to uh, that and also build a pop up on that side now these are all tech one tanks so they are not going to last against any tech two in that mash there just trying to buy some time for that pop up to come up and there's an atomic bomber it's just taken out another mech so we are currently down four mexes so it could be worse it could definitely be better and the pop-up is up i'm gonna try a cheeky more forward doomsday but i don't know if that is gonna work they're bombarding my commander Now, if you've noticed, our other front line has basically been quiet now because they're all coming in through this right-hand side. Go try and get some reclaim on the go. Build more defenses on this side. Now, I'm kind of multitasking building here. That's not really the best thing to do. Um, you should try and prioritize just building one set of things at a time. But uh, I, need, I need stuff in different locations right now. I don't have the time to wait. So we actually have enough economy here to build tech two units and tech three at the same time. Um, and we just need stuff on the field. So we are going to do that. Not ideal, but necessary evil, unfortunately. Now with that first juggernaut built, he will be able to hold that right hand front. We still have basically lost the left hand side there top area to air we're going to get a tech 2 engineer there to build some air defense long range air defense at that and have this big boy push out and kill anything that stands in its way so that guy there is trying to uh destroy that wall now it looks there like a shield isn't being shown uh, the one on the left it's actually just a graphical bug uh, that is out at the moment um, so we don't need to worry about that um, and there we go so our first energy to metal conversion went up I'm gonna start building our second and we're gonna just queue up a bit more some more defenses so this guy doesn't have to stand, stand out there all the time he was getting plinged by artillery quite a bit so we're going to move him and get this artillery's uh, taken out of course he uses his mega death beam to shoot everything but the artillery that is actually shooting him as is apparently the way of the juggernaut ignore anything that's actually going to do you damage and shoot all the engineers because you know he takes it out in one hit once he shoots it now i do make a bit of a mistake coming up right now um so got look this guy here he's just walking up yeah yeah that's great just destroying this little forward base perfect and i'm like right yeah just walk around and uh, just, you know, do your thing. And then all of a sudden, he's dead. Um, their commander, they had a cloaked commander there. He, um, he degunned it. So that guy that I had that was my hope for survival, <laughs> gone from one degun. Um, so yeah, not ideal. Um, so, yeah, that, that hurt, that hurt quite a bit. Uh, so now we are going to struggle.